so basically the definition of electric current is flow of charge the charge can be positive or negative and in every atom protons are there which are having positive charge and electrons are revolving around the protons and then neutrons protons and neutrons combinedly we call it as nucleus and around the nucleus electrons are revolving and electrons are associated with charge negative charge the charge flow is nothing but electric current and there is a, there are some effects like light effect heat effect magnetic effect that we will be learning in this chapter because of electric current there is a, some light is generated or because of electric current some heat is generated because of electric current some magnetic effect is generated so all this we will be learning in this chapter as you press the switch of of a bulb to on position the bulb starts glowing okay if you switch on the bulb the bulb starts glowing so that is called light effect actually have you ever touched a glowing bulb have you ever touched a glowing bulb yes sir So what do you found? Sir, uh, it is hot. It is hot. So that is heat effect. Okay. Yes. Why do you think the bulb glows on pressing the switch on? Why do you think the bulb glows on pressing the switch on? What happens actually? Why do you think? What happens? Sir, so electricity passes yes, very good. inside. Yes, very good. Electric current flows. <laughs> And what could be the reason for not able to touch the bulb? Because there is a heat heat effect. <laughs> so these are all we will be learning. as we know electricity is one of the most important forms of energy actually okay electricity is one of the form of energy like light energy heat energy wind energy solar energy electricity is also form of energy sound energy okay. so in the class 6 you have learned various sources of electricity like Battery, connection wires, fans. We have done. We we have connected various circuits. Okay. We have connected bulbs, small small bulbs, bulbs and fans. Fans in a, like uh, and with a different combination of cells, battery, and series combination, parallel combination. Many we have done. Okay. as a part of classroom activity and we will also be doing again some of you are new and some of you have not done many and here also in this new concepts are there that also we will be doing the next part okay in the previous class okay we have learned okay such as material source uh, electricity such as its sources its source source of electricity is battery and materials which allows to pass through them those are called conductors the electricity which can pass through them called conductors and those who do not allow to pass through them called insulators these are all small definitions we have already learned So can you tell some examples of uh, conductors? Conductors example. Metal. 
in metals. Okay, metals in the metals. Examples. Yeah. Water. Huh? Or water. In the, in the metal, which metal is good conductor of? Uh, Sir, copper. Sir, iron. Yeah, iron is a good conductor. Copper is a good conductor. Gold is also good conductor. Silver is also good conductor. Okay. Of electricity. The flow of electric energy or electricity is called electric current. So that is what we understood. Actually, in depth, if you go. The charge is flowing actually. The electrical energy is is flown through, like in the form of charge, the charged particle. Sarnik okay. air, air is not a good conductor. Air you have written. Air, copper, iron, gold, silver. Copper, iron, gold, silver is correct. Air is wrong. Sarnik. And uh, okay, the current is nothing but flow of charge or flow of electrical energy or electricity is called current, and its units are ampere. Ampere is a scientist name actually. Ampere is a scientist name, and on his name, we have given the that they have been it has been awarded. It's on his name. It has been awarded a unit of the earth. The electric current passes through conducting material, which is generally in the form of wires. And however, on commercial scale, electric current is supplied through cables to our houses, offices, shops, factories, etc. Electricity is used for various purposes, such as lighting, heating, driving electrical equipments, and many more. So, actually, nowadays we cannot imagine our life without electricity. Okay. Next, electronics. Definition of electronics and electrics. Let us try. Let us try to understand that. Electronics is a branch of science that deals with the electric current in electronic devices. Electronics is nothing but is a branch of science that deals with the electric current. In electronic devices, okay, it deals with the electric current. And electrics is nothing but it is the system of electrical wires of a building or an electrical equipment. System of electrical wires or electrical equipment. System of electrical equipment. We call it as electric. Now, electric circuit, if we talk about Electric circuit is the, the complete path of wires and electrical components through which electric current flows is called an electric circuit. The complete path of wires and electrical components, like electrical components like source of electricity, switch or key, electric bulb, and these wires, all this combined together, we call it as electric circuit. 
okay and in the picture of a simple electric circuit as shown in figure 15.1 okay, we have drawn the actual components there are components see so electric circuit is the the complete or closed path to by which through which electric current flows okay. and uh, circuit components like wires battery p bulb or any any other electric appliance And below you can see the circuit diagram of the Debo connection. Battery. Actually, they have given cell symbol. Combination of cells gives you a battery. Battery is connected to switch and then two wires. Okay. And then to a light bulb. So circuit diagram and that schematic which both are different. Yeah. These are the components like which one of the component its function is it allows the current or stops the flow of current. No, it allows the current to flow or stop the current flow. Its function. Which is an important component of the circuit and is present in all the circuits. In all the circuits, it is present. Okay. Push the switch. There are different types of switches section. Push switch, on off switch, two way switch. Okay, push the switch, on off switch, two way switch. There are different types of switches. The next cell or the battery. So, in the A diagram, there is only cell, in the B diagram, there is a battery, combination of cells. And symbolically, they are given plus minus, plus minus, this plus. Positive terminal minus negative terminal. And these are the two terminals for each cell. And these terminals are connected in end to end. Then it becomes a battery. Okay. And there is also symbol for battery is also given there. Cells, combination of cells. Diagram is different, symbol is different. Okay. A cell or a battery is used as a source of an electric current. In most of the appliances, more than one cell is needed. Okay, more than one cell is needed. And they are connected like end-to-end -end connection. Positive terminal of, you see here in this. Positive is there and negative to another cell positive negative to and another sense positive like that end to end connection negative terminal of the one cell to positive terminal of the one cell and so on if you connect like that and that becomes a battery okay. cell is a source of an electric current battery a combination of more than two cells Conducting wire. A wire made of a conducting material is required in the circuit. It is joined for the flow of current in the circuit. It passes current very easily from one part of a circuit to another. So one more component is conducting wire. In general, we use copper wire. Okay. 
even though there are many conductors we use copper wire because it is cheap cheap and it is also good conduct good conducting having good conductivity okay. there are other devices or appliances like the other devices can be a bulb or a heater okay or a motor or an ac or a refrigerator a washing machine all those are can be a part of the circuitry and there can also be ammeter voltmeter an ammeter is a device which measures the current a voltmeter meter is the device which measures the voltage okay ammeter is a device or instrument used it to measure the flow of current it gives you the output current in voltmeter it measures the voltage okay circuit diagram is a line diagram showing all the components of an electric circuit by their symbols so these are the symbols these are the symbols okay these are the various symbols closed switch or closed key okay there is a dot Fuse. Okay. Yeah. Next, open circuit, closed circuit. What do you mean by open circuit and closed circuit? A circuit with an open switch is called an open circuit, whereas a circuit with closed switch is called closed circuit. If you open the circuit, there is no current flow. If you close the circuit, there is a current flow. Okay. So how here they have given how to draw a circuit diagram. like first you have to draw the symbols of electric components of the circuit and then join them with lines representing connecting wires first you draw symbols that bulb symbol switch symbol battery symbol okay then conditions necessary for electric current to flow so the the current to be flow is like the electric circuit should be complete that is no part of the circuit such as wire key or switch should be broken it should be complete number 1 and the path should be closed that is the switch or key should be on position and then each part of the circuit should be a good conductor of electricity this is also so these are the some of the conditions to the electric current has to flow otherwise the electric current will not flow like all should be electric circuit should be complete and all should all the material should be conducting and switch and key switch or key should be in on position then only the electric current flows these are the conditions to electric current to be flow yeah try to answer this check point 1 answer this
So what is the first answer? Check point one. Sir, electric current. Huh? Electric current. Yes, very electric good. current. Very good. Electric current. Next. Source of an energy in an electric circuit. Sir, cell. Okay, cell or battery. Yes. Okay, good. The next, the electric circuit through which current cannot flow. Sir, open circuit. Yes, very good. Symbol for wires. You have to just draw the straight line. In the next, the position of key or switch that allows the current to pass through. It is in on position. On position or close the switch. Okay. The material through which current can pass. Yeah, this answer please. Sir, conductor. Sir, conductor. Yes, conductor. Yes, very good. So till now we have learned what is electric current, what is electric circuit, what are the components of electric circuit. We have learned till now. And now effects of electric current. Okay. So, so you see in the bullet points they have given points. Electrical devices such as water pumps. Mixer, grinder, washing machines, fans, coolers, etc. work due to mechanical effect of electricity. So that is one of the effect. Mechanical effect means motion. When you supply the electricity, when you supply the electricity, there is a motion in the like in some part, some part of a machine. That motion is nothing but mechanical effect. Electroplating, that is layering one metal over the other, is carried out on the principle of chemical effect of electric current. So there is also a chemical effect. Right. An example you might have seen on the glass there are some paintings. On the glass there are some paintings. Okay. So such paintings like is, is actually the, the, the how they paint that is called plating, electroplating. And that is actually the chemical effect of electric current. That motion, mechanical effect, that electroplating, chemical effect, light is glowing, light effect, and you, it is becoming hot, that immersion heaters, or room heaters, or the bulb, whatever you think, when you pass the electricity, it is getting heated, so that is called heating effect, and sometimes, on current carrying, not sometimes, every time, Current carrying conductors behaves like a magnet actually. There is a magnetic field around the current carrying conductor also. So that is called magnetic effect. So these are all effects of electric current. Okay. The heating effect of electric current. That means the bulb or whatever the appliance and once you pass the electricity it becomes hot and that is called heating effect. Okay. So, uh,
So before going for heating effect, let us solve one puzzle. Okay. I think you might have already solved it. No, no, no. That is, uh, that is already solved. Yeah, for new students, actually, you only told us, told me, and that I am applying that for heating effect. Last year, you we have only discussed in the, as a classroom activity. Like, uh, so there are three bulbs in three rooms, three different switches are there. Okay, and you have to find out which switch is for which which bulb. Three different rooms, three different bulbs, three different switches. And you have to find out which switch is for which bulb. You have to switch on only one bulb and you have to find out. At a time, you can switch on one. And once you are allowed to visit the rooms. Okay. Once you are allowed to visit the room, there are three switches, three bulbs, three rooms. And how can you find out particular switches for particular bulb? Please think about it. Yes, uh, we can understand, we can tell that that bulb is for that switch. Once again, please, there were both. Well, if we switch on one, uh, one switch, uh, then the bulb will blow. And we can understand that which switch is for which bulb. You are allowed only one switch to on at a time. Only once you are allowed to visit. So how can you find out? What about others? They are not there in the class, huh? Tagnik, Kaustav Ghosh, Parijat, Sampriti. Hello, sir. Can I tell? Yeah, tell. Sir, we will switch on first switch and then switch it off. Again, we will switch on the second switch and we will enter the room. The bulb okay. which will be hot, that is the switch that is the switch for the first one the bulb will which will blow that will be the switch for the second one and the bulb will which will be neither hot nor glowing it will be the switch for third one yeah yeah good very good first we will be switching on and we will wait for uh, some time some 15 minutes or 20 minutes Yes, Rija, you are also correct. Okay. And then you switch off that particular light, uh, switch or bulb. Then switch on the second. Then you go and enter into the room. And uh, the one which we have uh, switched on for 15 minutes, the bulb will be hot so that we can identify that that particular switch is for this one. And the bulb which is glowing now presently, that is for second switch. That's the, the, that is for, like when you are visiting, you have switched on one. So that switch is for that particular bulb. And remaining, which is cold, which is cold, the bulb will be cold because we have not switched it on, but switch number three, so switch number three will be for that, for that particular bulb. So we can find out with the help of heating effect. Okay.
so here in this activity also the same thing to study the heating effect of a bulb a torch bulb are connecting wires sl and a switch so you switch on the torch for 2 3 minutes after 2 3 minutes you will observe that there is a the bulb becomes much hotter than in the first case first you will be doing it for 2 to 3 minutes switching on and later on for 10 minutes so in the first case you will observe that it is colder in the second case it is hotter this shows that electric current makes the bulb hot very simple observation that we do every day 